There's a girl that used to hang around SNL. So she'd be standing Jewish. like this far from you, and her breasts would be touching it, your shoulder. You know what I mean? Like it was ne insane. Mm. And uh, it's not her fault. No, of course not. But uh, it's then, just your human body. You know, they broke. It's up. like saying, God, Norm, he stands near me. His cock is nowhere near me. <laughs> <laughs> Can you believe this guy? Sorry. I just want the new people. The oh, hey, guess what? There's a young girl that's uh, middling attractive that swears a lot. <laughs> Let's get her. Right? Is that the new fucking thing? Yeah. Sarah Silverman, hysterical. Right. Who's funnier than her? Nobody. No, except dudes. But, no bother. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but I think she spawned these other ladies that, yeah. that uh, they forget that she's funny and that they think the whole point is just to be semi hot, you know, attractive, and then talk about sucking cock. And you got to show a shit. lot of leg. You got to show a lot of leg with yeah, little yeah, skirts yeah. on, and then you, yeah, talk about sucking cock yeah. and manipulating yeah. balls with your hand and. And and it's hysterical. Bring back Phyllis Diller. <laughs> <laughs> Some ugly old bag. Rosemary. <laughs> Rosemary. <laughs> Those Rose are the funny Marie. ladies. Wow. Whoa, that is old. <laughs> the funny ladies always used to be ugly old bags. Uh, yeah. Or Roseanne. You know. What I mean? Have you ever had a, d a job other than show business? No, right? No, I mean I was a waitress, but pretty quick though. Yeah, you got you. you That's the first time I ever saw a penis. <laughs> when you were a waitress. Yeah. My boss. Um, oh, <laughs> Jesus. It's Can you change perception? Like one time I remember there was a magazine uh, and it said, uh, it was, you know, L or some ladies magazine, big breasts are out. <laughs> and I was like, can you really do that? I'm like, so 1996, those huge juicy tits. <laughs> yeah. Everybody hates those big, heavy Juicy tits. <laughs> Gross. Icky. No there offense, but it sounds like some fucking commie gobbledygook. You got me, Norm. Oh, baby. Hey. That's, not, that's dangerous. It is dangerous. Oh, here we go. Sure. We've got creator and the star of Comedy Central's hit series, the Sarah Silverman Program, and she's a member of the comedy collective Jash, and also Sarah Silverman is a wonderful person that I'm really happy to be around right now. Thank you, Jenny Slate. Straight up, sunglasses. Uh, you know how I feel about you and about sunglasses. How do you feel? I feel good. I hope this, um, our bit works out. We'll see. It'll be fun. Hey, Norm, thanks for dressing up. Hey, yeah. Sarah, listen, man. Uh, congratulations. That's the hundredth time that joke's been done tonight. <laughs> but I also want to tell you, I have a, I have a bet with Daniel Kellison, uh -huh. a rather large figure. Daniel Kelson, who put this whole thing together yeah, way over bet. his head. He, he says you're he gonna. He says you're gonna explain what the fuck Jash is. Jash is. Uh, uh, pay up, fucker. Uh, Jash is a, a comedy collective, a, a a United Artists, if you will. <laughs> oh. Uh, uniting myself, Reggie Watts, Michael, Sarah, and Tim and Eric. And what do we do? We do whatever we dream up. We shoot it, and it goes on there. We can fail. We can do well. It's total no freedom. No offense, but it sounds like some fucking commie gobbledygook. <sighs> you got me, Norm. I mean, I've never heard the word collective. Without I know, but um, Leon Daniel Trotsky. puts buzzwords in my head, oh, and he then does? I just blind. Hey, all the stars are here. <laughs> Bobby McFerrin just showed up. Norm, um, didn't you used to host the news on Saturday Night Live? I know, Live? man. This whole thing's got me thinking. I got to fucking get back on TV. <laughs> I was at a party with a friend and said I noticed you first. And you returned my gaze, knew how to crush my thirst. You took me to that room like a dream come true. The dance you performed was just for me and you. Kisses on the neck, then you work your way down. Let yourself go for me all around town. Seductively stupid. Most embarrassing moment of your life. So many to choose from. I know you've mined probably a few of them for your little stand-up sketches. I have to do, be honest. Ugh. I want a new scab Ugh. peeled off here. This is, I've never said this out loud. Ugh. Oh, I want people to see me in a sexual way, but I was on SNL the year I was at SNL, but I was in Los Angeles for hiatus for some reason. I didn't live here. And I went to soup, I, I was 
having dinner and then I was going to take the red eye back and I was to pick up Norm McDonald in my rental car and we're on the same flight back. Um, but I think he was in first class and I was in coach. So I went to Soup Plantation before and, and had dinner with some friends and then it just hit me like your story that I don't know if you told while we were doing this. Yeah, five pound that. weight dropped down in your belly. That happened to me, and I had the diarrhea of a lifetime in the bathroom at Soup Plantation. <laughs> like, Not a luxurious bathroom. Like when you think it's over, and you've cleaned up, and you're getting up, and you stand up, and you go, oh my God, it's starting all over again. It mm. was like that. It was like I was sweating. Like I wanted to take my shirt off. Yeah, and you've already wiped thinking it was done. Now yeah. you got to wipe again. And I'm very meticulous. I mean, I you, you know... I front to back yes okay um <laughs> this made me think of harris whittles said um about rob schraub that he most people wipe front to back he wipes side to side <laughs> 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 that makes me laugh okay so i'm i'm like sick i'm sick okay so i clean myself up you know and I go to pick up Norm Macdonald, who I worshipped, you know, at that time, and I, I pick him up, and we're driving, I've never told the story, I've never told him this, and we're driving to the airport, and Norm goes, what the fuck, it smells like fucking diarrhea in this car, and I'm going, what, and my heart is going, bam, 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 and he goes, did you fucking shit in your pants? And I go, what? I don't know what you're talking about. And I like roll down, we roll down our windows. And I'm thinking, what is he smelling? Like, I must have like stepped on it or something. Like it, it literally, I don't know what it was. And to this day, like I was clean. I was clean. I swear to God. And this is your worst nightmare. It is still to this day, probably my worst nightmare. And he's going, fucking smells like fucking diarrhea in this car. And I'm like, well, I don't know what to tell you, Norm. And I'm, but in my heart, I'm going, in my heart is just like pounding out of my chest. And I'm just like, what oh. is wrong with me? And I'm feeling it again. And then we get to the airport and I go to the bathroom and I'm totally clean. I don't know, like I'm still to this day, like I don't know if I like, it was on the bottom of my shoe. Or like, maybe in like that, when your underwear and pants form a little hammock underneath you. I don't have, have that. Hmm. I'm a lady. Yeah. I don't know, but, or maybe it was a crazy coincidence. Maybe, I mean, it makes more sense that Norm shit his pants and was like yelling Got at it. me for shitting yeah. his pants. I mean, he's a guy who literally took a shit and then forgot to wipe and walked away and pulled up his pants because he was like on the phone. So anyway, um, he just told that story on Stern, I think. Um, that was it. He boarded the plane, did not even like say good morning. He just like got on the plane way before me and I never saw him again until we got to work on Monday. Wow. But I'm, I've remained good friends with him, but I, um, You never told him this story? No, I've got to ask him about that. I guess what is there to ask? Well, he listens to every podcast, so he'll, he will probably, uh, good. reach out to you Let's after get hearing this. this. Out. Can you imagine if he was still angry, like all these years later, <laughs> well, you fucking, you fucking denied it? Well, that was what's scary is. He was angry. It wasn't like, yeah. oh my God, do you smell that? What is that? Is that this area? I hope you don't think that's me. You always give like, somebody an out. It was just an accusatory anger. Wow. Wow. And I wanted to shake your pants. Honestly, wanted to just drive the car into a wall and kill us both. Wow. Would have been less embarrassing. Wow. Why did I tell this story?